Hartford Performs is an arts education collaborative dedicated to using arts integration, sequential in-school arts instruction, as well as out-of-school time arts experiences to inspire students' success through the arts. In the arts integration component, arts experiences are delivered by community arts providers through workshops, residencies, and off-site performances and museum visits. Hartford Performs coordinates professional learning opportunities for teachers and school staff as well as community arts providers in support of the arts integration component. Community arts providers complete an application that demonstrates alignment to literacy and numeracy goals in order to be listed in the Hartford Performs database. In September, teacher teams select programs from this database that support identified learning goals. Jessica Fitzgerald, a high school English teacher at Pathways to Technology, recently had a visiting artist in her senior level English class. At the end of the workshop, she said, It was amazing to see my students thinking so deeply. I really wish all Hartford students could have this type of arts integrated learning in their elementary years so when they would get to me in high school, they would really blossom. You been learning about beats? Yeah. And what else? Bars and how to rap and make, like making our own beats. How to make your own beats? Yeah. And is that are you able to use any of that in your classroom with Miss Brown? Yeah. How are you using it in your classroom? Fractions. So where do we put our hi-hat? At, at the two fourths. Two fourths. At the half. Two fourths. Two fourths. Two fourths. Two fourths. One half. Okay. So. Let's see what was it? The capella. Yeah. Do you remember what the story was about? Yes. Can you tell me? The story was about a doll and um, girls breaking into a, a toy shop. Nice. And did you enjoy it? Yes. Yeah. Did you learn anything special? Oh yeah? What was your favorite part? Um, when he did like this. What were you doing yesterday, boys and girls, when you, you referred to the play? And when we were reading about Jack and Annie and standing stiff, and you said that was just like from the, the ballet. What was, what was the incident, though? Uh, the girl had a No, but we were on the carpet, and we were reading, and you said that it was the same as the play. Oh, when she was sitting on the chair. But what was the connection? What were we talking about in class? I don't remember it. When Jack was, um, was st standing stiff. Oh, yes, Jack was standing frozen stiff in our story that we were reading. So I've been in second grade classes today, and what I've done is worked on combining the art of movement and dance with all the skills that they're learning as good writers. And we've learned that a dance has a beginning, a middle, and an end, like all good writing. And we've learned how to put details into our movement. We've learned how to use focus and shape and line and pathway and level to create dances that connect into the skills that they're developing as young writers. Beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. And what's your name? My name is Lana Burton. I'm a dance artist, and it's been wonderful to be in this Hartford School, and I look forward to being in many more. We won't be able to move our feet. Our feet will be stuck. And then, you know what I'm going to do? 
Yeah, we're going to stick our feet. That's exactly right. Are you listening? Yeah, we're going to stick them like this. And then our feet are going to be stuck, Kareem. And then I'm going to put on music. But we won't be able to move our feet. Yeah, the music. And then we're going to make a arm dance. Because our feet will be stuck. Yeah, and maybe it'll be a tipping dance like that one. That was a nice arm dance. Or maybe it'll be a swirling dance. Or maybe it'll be a circling dance. Or maybe a twinkling dance. Yeah. Yeah, that's it, Ralphie. Maybe with little fingers. Later that night, the fierce warrior hunters came sneaking into the lion's den. Very carefully and quietly, they all took a giant net and threw it over the lions! And the lions wiggled because they couldn't get out of the net! And the hunters cheered and high-fived each other. We had this opportunity. And we were really fortunate because the Hartford Children's Theater came and they worked with us. We met with them beforehand and we explained to them that you know, we're a character education school, so we wanted a program that would really fit with what we're all about here at Breakthrough 2. And so they worked with us and we did this whole program on Aesop's Fables and it really taught them all about character and it was just a wonderful experience for them. They absolutely adored it. So. <laughs> Come back! <laughs>